Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So if you'd like to support us by creating more content frequently, do like and subscribe today, alright? So in today's video, we're actually going to be looking into how we can import my customer tax information using an Excel table, okay? So one thing you will need to note that this feature is only available for version 2.1 revision 40, alright? So to check what revision you are on, you can see at the top here. Okay, so at the top of the header here, you'll be able to see version 2.1, revision 40 onwards. Okay, so if you like to upgrade it, then please contact your dealer or our support team to get your auto account upgraded to the latest version. Alright, so if you want to also see any other way of inputting the tax information into auto account, you can click in the link above or check it out in the description. So the first thing you need to know is your debtor code. So you can come here to AR, you can come here to debtor maintenance, okay? And let's say we want to import in the information for these few customers, okay? So maybe we want to import in, let's just check, okay? So we want to import in the information for T003 and D001, okay? So first thing you need to do is you must know this information. Second thing you need to do is you need the Excel file. So this Excel file here, if you want this Excel file, you can actually click in the link below and you can actually download it for yourself, okay? So in this Excel file, we also have a guide that you can use as a reference. So come here to guide. The system will then tell you or the Excel sheet will tell you what each information re represents, okay? And this will be your main sheet, okay? So what happens is if you go here, there will be certain fields that actually highlighted. So like row E, sorry, column E, column J. So example, if you want to know what's the identity type or how you're going to name this, you can come into the identity type and state code sheet. So if you use uh, your IC, so it's my card, okay? Or if you use passport, my tentura, my cards, and things like that, okay? And come back to tax entity. So your MSIC code is also here. So that we have the list of all the MSC codes in uh, provided by the custom. Okay. So once that's done, you can actually fill in this information. So the next thing that you need to know is what uh, is your adapter code, so we can automatically match it. Okay. So let's say example, I go back to my auto account, my adapter maintainer. So I want to import in for D one Okay. So I put here three hundred D001. Okay. okay, and then we key in the information. This is tax Yuan Bahad. And for example, we can key on this information and update it. Right? So you can, of course, continue keying in uh, line by line. And then what happens is now, if you are ready to import in, we just need to select these few codes, that a uh, few lines that we want to import in. Select it like this. Okay. Then we press copy. Now we go back to your auto count. Come here to file. Here we got one called import from Excel. And then you should have now a new one called import tax entity. Okay. So what we do is from here, we just press paste from clipboard. Or if you want, you can even allow update in use of tax entity. So let's say we press paste on clipboard. The system will say that's update now. So once we're done, we just press import, import successful. Now we come back to adapter maintenance. Let's click tax and remember hard. So you can see it's already linked. All right. So this is actually how easy it is for you to import the tax data of your customers inside AutoCount. We hope you actually find this guide helpful. And if you have any other questions, do leave in the comment below. Thanks.